let's talk about taking action and how to have your money work for you. Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I am a money coach and I'm so excited because this is a collab with three amazing female frugal money saving ladies on YouTube who I call my friends. The first is my gal pal Jan from New York City saves money. The second is Dawn, that's how I know her, but you know her as Sensible Living with Money Mom. And the third is Kate Caden. The three of them, their channels are my favorite to watch when it comes to money saving and frugal tips. So doing this collab with them, it's, it's so exciting. I'm, such, I'm so happy to be a part of it. So I'm gonna link all of their channels down below so that you can follow them as well. Now, all of us are taking a different angle on taking action in our lives. And of course, me being the money coach, I'm going to talk about how to make your money work for you. Before I get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I offer daily money saving and motivating tips that can really help you just stay on track when it comes to your goals and budgeting. And I really not only make it fun, but I encourage you every single day along the way. So the first tip that I have for you might sound simple, but it really isn't. And that is deciding to take action and change the way you deal with money. It sounds like you're like, okay, Debbie, I decide that's what I'm going to do. But let's be honest. My clients come to me because they feel overwhelmed. They're stressed. They have anxiety or simply have been procrastinating managing their money for so long and they don't know how to do it in an effective way. When we don't want to do something in life. We simply procrastinate. Whether you're a procrastinator at heart the way I used to be or simply because you see money from a place of stress. So what do we do? It's human nature. We put it off. But what we need to realize is there's two things that are your biggest asset. It's not just your income. It's time. The more time you have to dedicate to getting your money right and getting it work for you, the more you can achieve with it the faster you can see results. But it takes you forgiving yourself for what you've done in the past, whether it's what credit card debt you are in now, it's based on previous decisions, or just a place where you feel negative about money. That has to be left in the past because if you take that moving forward with money, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. And that's what I help my clients with. I help them clear up their money mindset, any triggers, any spending habits that they have that are sabotaging them, any negative association when it comes to money. There's so many things that can contribute to what you've done in the past and up until this moment when it comes to you and your finances. So once you tackle that and you decide now, today, I'm going to change the way that I'm dealing with money. That is the biggest step you can possibly take. That is literally life-changing right there. Saying, I'm done with what I've done. Let's move forward. So now, tip number two. Once you've made that decision, the first thing you need to do is see where your money has been going. Because before you can tell it where to go, you need to know what you've done. You need to know your spending habits that have gotten you to this position. So how can you do that? You're going to hate what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it. You have to start tracking your expenses. When I say those words, like the word budget or track your expenses, people go, mm. <laughs> but it's true. You have to see where it's going. So it sounds like it's a really tedious thing, right? But it really isn't. It just takes seconds, literally seconds after you've made a purchase, after you've paid a bill, seconds. Now, there's two ways that I help my clients do this. It depends on what you prefer. If you are a phone person, if you're an electronic person and you're like, I carry my phone everywhere I go, I literally have everything on my phone, then you're my people. <laughs> and that's why I have an app that tracks my expenses because I track my expenses. Do not pay for any app to track your expenses. You're literally paying someone to do something that you can do in 10 seconds. And if you're not doing it yourself, you're not learning. And when you don't learn, how can you possibly get better at something? So track it yourself. Get a free app. There's so many out there. And if you guys want to know which one I recommend, I'll put a video at the end. But track your expenses for an entire month. All it takes is literally seconds after you've made that transaction. 
whether you're logging it on an app or whether you're literally having one of those little homework pads with you that you keep in the car, you can keep in your purse. I have a male client, he, he's so good now with his money, but when he started, he had a little pad and he just kept it in his back pocket. Whatever avenue you wanna take, whether it's electronic or whether it's written down, the point is to start the habit of tracking your expenses. Not only to know what you've done, but by continuously having that mindset of tracking everything you do, you're gonna take that with you and it's gonna help you succeed so fast when it comes to money. And it literally is just a habit you have to get into. Seconds is all it takes. So let's say it's been 30 days since you've seen this video and it's been 30 days since you've been tracking your expenses. Now what do you do? Tip number three. So the third tip, is now that you have a whole month laid out in front of you, that's your initial budget. Now you know what you've been spending your money on. That doesn't mean that's your budget moving forward because obviously you haven't made a change. So you're not managing it correctly. But now you have this 30 day landscape in front of you, right? This roadmap. And so now you know where it's going. Now you have a category for groceries, your utilities, gas for your car, if you have a car payment, if you have a mortgage, rent, you have all of these laid out, right? So what do you do next? There are expenses that you can't control for the most part, your rent and your mortgage. That's pretty set in stone, right? But what about groceries? I have you covered when it comes to groceries. I'm gonna link a playlist at the end and I can show you how to save so much money on groceries, so many different ways, using your freezer, using meal planning. It's just, I can go on and on. I'm gonna link a whole playlist at the end if you want to really fine tune and find money in your grocery budget. But what about the rest? What about your utilities? I have a video on that as well, and I'm gonna link that at the end. And I show you how with just four phone calls, I saved my family over a $1,000 that year. So meal planning and also calling your utilities to have them lower your bill and still provide you with the same service, those two things combined can really help you find money that you didn't even know that was in that initial budget so that you can start throwing it at your debt or whatever goal you set for yourself, whether it's an emergency fund, vacation fund, any savings goal you have, and that will motivate you to continue to be better each month with money and that initial budget. You're going to start really looking at where your money's going and you're going to start eliminating expenses that you didn't even know you were spending money on and that's going to help you save even more. That's how you take action with your finances. And there are so many more steps that I could tell you, but just by taking those and implementing it in your life, if you have never budgeted before, or if you've been procrastinating, can literally change the course of your financial life from this moment moving forward. If you guys wanna work with me, I'm going to leave a link to my calendar down below. Feel free to click it and schedule a 30 minute call with me. It's free and I'd love to see how I can help. And if you guys like this video, you're going to like these two right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And ladies, again, it's been a pleasure to do this collab with you. And I can't wait to see how you take action in your life. If you like this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.